Framer is a popular no-code tool that turns static designs into functional websites. It has various use cases, portfolios, blogs, or landing pages, to name a few. Its interface shares similarities with other design software, so the learning curve shouldn't be too difficult. In the top navigation bar, we have several buttons. If you click on the Framer logo, you'll find various settings. The Insert button will open a list of pre-made layouts, elements, integrations, and much more. The Layout button will open a list of pre-made layouts with rows, columns, and grids which you can edit. The Text button is self-explanatory. It allows you to add text to your design. The CMS is where you handle your content in case you are running a blog or an e-commerce website. Under Actions, you'll find the search bar and a few quick links. On the right side, you'll find your profile. The Localization button lets you translate the website's content into several languages. The next button gives you access to the overall settings of your website, title, description, domain, and so on. The Preview button will allow you to see how your website would look like. With the Invite button, you can add more collaborators to your project. This is a paid feature. The Publish button will make your website accessible through a Framer link or your own domain. In the Insert tab, we can find pre-made layouts and elements such as headers, pricing tables, blog, feature grids, and even responsive navigations. If you scroll further down, you'll find modules that connect your website to apps like YouTube, Spotify, or Apple Music, but also free-to-use icon sets. There are many more elements, but you'll discover them and their use as you keep working in Framer. Now let's create a landing page for a photographer using only pre-made modules. It'll feature a navigation, a grid of photos, and a footer. We'll start by going to Insert and Pages. Then we select the module that we want. Since this is a pre-made module made by Framer, it'll automatically adjust itself for tablet and phone. Then we go back to Insert, choose Navigation, then drag and drop one of the modules onto our canvas. The last step is to upload the photos. Then press the Preview button and check the website on all the screen sizes. Thanks to Framer's pre-made modules, we were able to create a landing page quickly. All you need to do is drag and drop the desired modules and replace the placeholder content with your own. Next, we'll create a website from a Figma design. We'll head over to Figma, open the Framer plugin, and copy the design. We need to make some adjustments such as changing the background color and setting the frames and stacks to fill. For some stacks, we will need to change the direction from horizontal to vertical. This is often the case for mobile devices since the screen sizes are much smaller. Thanks to the plugin, we are able to quickly turn a design made in Figma into a functional website.